In this simulation, we're looking at Newton's second law, which predicts the acceleration of an object given the forces acting on it. In this case, we have a boat. We can adjust the forward thrust force acting in the rightward direction. The water generates a drag force as well. This points leftward. Although the drag force is typically complicated to calculate and is usually affected by the speed of the boat, we're just going to imagine it as a constant value. The net force acting on the boat is the amount by which the rightward force exceeds the leftward force. For example, when the thrust force is 1,500 newtons and the drag force is 500 newtons, the net force is 1,000 newtons rightward. According to Newton's second law, the acceleration of the boat is the net force divided by the mass. Here, the mass is 500 kilograms. So if the net force is 1,000 newtons, and the mass is 500 kilograms, the acceleration will be 2 meters per second squared. Can we see such an acceleration in the data here? Let's look closely at the graph at the right. The acceleration of 2 meters per second squared is indeed represented here. The slope of a velocity graph tells you the rate at which the velocity is increasing. In other words, the slope of this graph is the acceleration. The boat reaches a speed of 10 meters per second after 5 seconds, meaning that the rate at which the speed increases was 2 meters per second every second. If you take away the thrust so that only the drag force remains, the boat should have a net leftward force of 500 newtons. Since the mass is 500 kilograms, the acceleration is negative 1 meter per second squared. We should see a downward slope then in the velocity versus time graph. What happens if we increase the mass of the boat by adding passengers? Well, by Newton's second law, we'd expect the acceleration to be lower. And in fact, we see a more shallow slope in the velocity versus time graph. Newton's second law is a powerful tool. It allows us to predict motion, here acceleration and velocity, by analyzing the basic forces at play in a situation. Have a look and see what you can discover.